Hello, thank you for clicking on this video. If you're new here, my name is Dale. This channel is DLJ from PA, and I am a part-time reseller on eBay, Poshmark, and Mercari. Today's video is going to be a sourcing video. I purchased a Goodwill Blue Box that was a mixed clothing and jewelry box. The nice thing about this particular box is that you're allowed to pick sizes. So it's not like just mixed clothing. I picked women's extra large because I'm extra large. <laughs> and so we're gonna take a look at what clothing they sent me. And then it also includes a five pound box of jewelry. I'm super excited to show you what was inside that box. So let's take a look. So my box came from Lake Worth, Florida, which I believe it's sort of like the hub for the Goodwill blue boxes but that's only in my limited knowledge. And here is the clothing. I already pulled out the box of jewelry. So let's dive in. First, we have this sweater. Um, it's not my style, so I will definitely be reselling this. I think I'm gonna have to look up the tag. I don't see a name. Now, I'm not seeing a name anywhere, but maybe that tag will give me some indication of where that's from. Can you hit the thumbs up for me down there? Pretty please. Next, looks like we have a t-shirt. It is Bass Pro Shops, an American tradition. So it looks to be um, in good condition. I don't see any issues with it. And it is an extra large as it should be. So yeah, you can tell even that tag looks like it's in pretty good condition, right? So good. Very nice. Ooh, this feels nice. It's from JCPenney. And it didn't sell even after being marked 80% off. <laughs> um, it is a men's swimsuit. And from Arizona, that is a JCPenney brand. But here is the men's swimsuit. So I don't know, is there a problem with this? We'll see, maybe somebody will be interested. Next, and I thought that I picked women's, but maybe it wasn't just women's. Maybe it was, I didn't think that I picked men's, <laughs> but I kind of feel like I'm getting men's clothing. Okay, this is an American Eagle thermal shirt. See that? That come through good. And this is what it looks like. So yeah, again, I don't think there's any major issues with it. I'm not seeing holes or stains or anything. I'm not seeing them in the camera either, am I? I don't think so. So good. You're not subscribed? Please consider hitting that subscribe button and then hit the bell button so you'll be alerted when I post new content. Next, we have a Columbia vest, a fleece vest. So that's nice. I think Columbia probably has a decent retail value, right? It's a nice fleece vest. Pocket, zippered pockets, full zip. So yeah, we like that. Next, brand new with tags, Kenneth Cole. But I really do think that I got a men's box for some reason, <laughs> box of clothing. So a nice classy button down. As you can see, new with tags, Kenneth Cole. Retailed for $70, well, $69.50 to be exact. And yeah, so that is the tag on the inside. I don't know if that indicates a specific line of Kenneth Cole but I like that. I really like the fact that it is brand new with tags. Next, it looks like we have another men's button down. Maggie, Maggie wants to see it. This is a Ralph Lauren classic fit size 17 and it's like a purple and white stripes. I don't know how the color is coming through on camera, but that is the color, purple and white. So I like that, that's nice. Do you see the tags? Yeah. Next, we have a, another Columbia 
short sleeve t-shirt. And again, I don't see any stains or holes or anything, so it seems to be in good condition. These are the last two pieces. So we have, what brand is this? All in Motion. Here's, it is brand new with tags again. Um, All in Motion XL, it's super soft. Just a plain black t-shirt, but wow. It is really soft. What is the makeup of it? 92% recycled polyester, 8% spandex. But super soft. Love that. Could be a keeper. It's just a plain black t-shirt. And then the last thing we have is a Wrangler short-sleeved button-down in this like orangey peachy color. And it is XL. Here's what the tag looks like. And it looks like, yeah, it does have another tag down at the bottom. And again, this doesn't seem to be in terrible condition or do you see any big stains or anything? I didn't catch any. So yeah, you know what? I, I mainly purchased this box for the jewelry, but I'm pretty happy with the clothing as well. Wait till you see the jewelry though. Let's take a look. Our first piece, as you can see, has this adorable dolphin who is not magnetic, but he is also not solid. So I'm, I don't think that he's sterling, but it is a really cute piece with these faceted beads and the silver spacers. And they have a little bit of AB quality to them. At least these yellow do. Um, these are more like cabochons coming in and then these and then these with the, the dolphin at the end. So I think that's a very cute piece, unmarked, but it does have the barrel clasp. So I think it's a nice quality that I will sell. So we have this pair of earrings. This is what they look like on the back, and I'm not seeing a maker's mark, but I do appreciate that all the beads are there, and these are a definite seller as well. Next, we have this piece of jewelry, also not marked, but I just really like the different colors. Like, you can see the green, and blue and then like pinkish quality of these beads. So I just thought that this was a really nice necklace also. Then we have this piece, again with the faceted beads and a little bit of AB quality to them. Like this big one is shining, all different colors. And no maker's mark, but I think think that it makes a really pretty necklace with the blues and the purples and then are you seeing some of the detail of these beads there's very pretty the ones that aren't faceted picking up all that light then like this almost looks like a lamp work bead <clears throat> that has different colors to it and then this one has a little bit of glitter to it. Very pretty with these silver accents. The hammered, silver hammered accents. And a big lobster claw. Next, we have this necklace, which with this hook closure, I thought might be vintage. Again, no markings. Just a nice silver necklace and it has a little bit of pull to it so I don't think that it's sterling it doesn't feel like sterling either but just a nice set of silver tone this is a really special piece that I'm excited to share with you so let's actually zoom out a little bit even though you're gonna catch my tripod I want you to see the full piece of this necklace so at first, I thought, 
oh no, it's supposed to go, you know, like this, and it should have another one of these beads over here to make it even. But then I saw that it has a tag which says, it says Celeste Michelle. And I found that this necklace actually retails for $78. And this is exactly the way that it is intended to look. So I was very excited about this find in my blue box. Super excited. So that will be up for sale. So it has all of these different beads down here. I believe that should be hanging like that. And then the lobster closure with another bead at the back. But look at these. What, what do you think they're made of? I don't know, but I'm loving the colors and the intricacies of these different beads. And then it's got this unique bead on each side going up into these faux pearls and rhinestone bands. And then, as I said, the lobster claw and bead at the back, which I just thought was so neat. So I definitely will have this piece up for sale as well. And then here we have a brand new Island of Bali, which is made in Lake Worth, Florida. A little bit of purple at the ends here, but very pretty. And as I said, brand new on the card. So we'll have that for sale. Look at this bangle. Pretty unique. And as you saw there, it says, oops, that it is a Lucky Brand bangle. And it's in very good condition. So I think that that um, will be a good piece to sell. Lucky Brand seems to sell pretty well for me. And staying on the bangles, we have this one, which is blue and then has some of the raised metal for that flower design. And then I'm not sure what that part on the inside, if that indicates the designer. I have to look that up and see because I'm not familiar. It's on both sides. So if you know, please comment below. I would appreciate your help. We have another nice bangle. Um, I thought that it had a clasp, but no, it's a solid bangle with some detail. Next, although this doesn't feel like the best quality, I do think this is a really pretty piece. So you can see all of these different flowers. Some have pearls in the middle, some have rhinestones in the middle, but at least none of them are missing their middles. And then of the lobster clasp, I don't see a maker's mark at all, but I think that it is a really pretty piece. Very unique. We have this statement necklace with all of these blue and faceted different beads, silver beads, going up into a nice silver chain, and lobster claw with extender. So I thought this was a very nice piece. And here is a super long gold and pink necklace. And like, let's look at this. It is super long. Super long, but in very nice condition. So again, I will have this one up for sale. This one doesn't feel like it's fantastic quality, but all of the beads are there, and I thought it was in nice condition on a gold chain. This is a nice long, again, another long. Do we want to see how long? It's a long gold chain going down into this pendant then. So that's a nice piece. Here we have 
some hammered gold circles at the end of like a braided rope. Is it going to focus? Here's the braided rope. And then at the end, it is marked Ralph Lauren. Is that correct? So, a nice Ralph Lauren necklace for your consideration. Here we have a pearl and purple stone necklace. I want you to see that up close. Very pretty purple stones with lots of detail to them. And the pearls are in nice condition as well. I don't think, no, there's no clasp on this, so it's just to go over the neck. And definitely long enough to do that. Here we have a nice gray and black baubles on a silver chain with a lobster clasp and nice extender, but I do not see a maker's mark on it. Here we have this gold necklace with pearls on the side and rhinestone circles. And if you look here, I believe this is marked and it says it is an Ann Taylor. Next we have a very heavy metal with these, this one's like a green tone. This is more of a brown tone jewel. And again, the matching, well actually they kind of trade places. The green is on the right and the brown is on the left. And then it goes into a different kind of chain and has this mark, which is Jessica Simpson. The Jessica Simpson mark. Kind of heavy metal look, long. All right, here we have a nice fall orange and cream with some danglies and a toggle clasp necklace. Here, oop, some bonus hair, let me get rid of that. I thought this was an interesting piece that has gold and silver. And then here is the ends and it does have the extender on it as well. So I'm not seeing a maker's mark but I thought it was in very nice condition and a unique enough piece that I will list this for sale. Here we have sort of a dream catcher look, right? With a blue bead in the middle. I'm really excited to show you these two pieces. Take a look at these, their hair clips but the butterfly and then a heart, which again, hair clip. But look at how beautiful these Aurora Borealis beads and rhinestones are. So do you see how pretty they are? I'm not seeing a maker's mark anywhere on these. They're so pretty. This one, oh, I see is missing an AB stone right there. Shoot, I thought they had all of their stones. Oh, it's missing some over here too. Let's see how the butterfly is. I 
believe the butterfly has all of her stones. So that's good. And then on the side, yes, all of the stones are there on this one. We have this gold tone necklace, which I have to admit at first I was planning to just put in a craft lot, but then I saw that it had a tag and the clasp, which is marked Monet. So I decided that I will probably get this listed. It's a nice long necklace. Next, we have a pair of Claire's earrings, which while nothing fantastic, they are these adorable rhinestone seahorses. So since they appear to be new on the tags, I thought that I would list them. But they did only retail for $6.50. They'll at least go in a group lot. Then we also have an Atlanta 1996 Olympics pin. This is a very nice charm necklace in silver with all of these different charms. I was a little disappointed that the, the horseshoe is missing a rhinestone, but it was in the bottom of the box. I'm pretty sure that I have that stone. So if I can get that replaced, then I will list this unmarked necklace for sale with all of these adorable charms. We have a very pretty bracelet with all of these colors. Beautiful. Unmarked, but in nice condition. Aim for this ring, which just has a stretchy pearl band on it. But I think once you put it on, it looks real nice. Right? And it, it feels nice too, because it's not too tight or anything. And then as we saw, our new first lady appears to like pearls. So Margaret over on Texas Gal Treasures thinks that faux pearls will be making a comeback thanks to our new first lady. And this looks to be a gorgeous set of vintage pearls. And it has the pearl clasp. So I thought there might never have been a better time than now to list a set like this. And lastly, we have the earrings. So I did find this nice match with the wire pearl and rhinestone drops. And then, unfortunately, I have all of these unmatched earrings. And look at some of these, like this one, the zebra print is fantastic. Um, the ones I'm most upset about, not having the match. So if anybody happens to have gotten a blue box and has the match to this Trafari, see it on the back here that it is marked Trafari. And it is a gorgeous little bouquet with rhinestones. And all of my rhinestones are there. Even the baguettes. So it's a gorgeous piece. So if I can't find the match to that, I'll at least make it into a pendant, I believe. This one, nothing fantastic special, but it is marked 14K. I was taking a picture to post it in a single earrings group on Facebook and I thought maybe I should test that. So I got out my handy dandy diamond selector. I'll link to this on Amazon. And I've tested plenty of other stones and know that the only time it beeps is when it is actually on a diamond. So that is my engagement ring. 
Thank you, husband. <laughs> and this, are you ready? It goes all the way up to the red. Oh my gosh, I can't believe it. So yeah, like I said, we'll just take a look at something that is not diamonds. So I had this from a different box. And this is all that happens with that. So let's hear that beautiful sound again on this earring. I'm so excited. Wait, ready? Woohoo! On the back. So I will test that to make sure that it is indeed 14 karat gold. And this one, also very pretty with the AB stones on the starfish. I wish I had the match to that. This one, very pretty. A pretty green faceted. This one was very nice. I mean, all of these, ugh, I wish I had the matches. This little flamingo. And the hook catches, but I don't think the flamingo does. I might have to test him. This one is magnetic, but it was a nice dangle. And then you have these other dangles. The one I most want to know if anybody has the match to this one or this one. Maybe we could work out a trade. Last but certainly not least, I have this fantastic tiger and stone um, piece, which after doing a Google Lens search, I found is by the artist Lee Sands, and it should sell for about $40. It needs some attention. Um, the end actually broke and it was cobbled together with um, an Avon clasp anyway. So I think that I will purchase some materials to fix this since it should sell, like I said, for $40. I thought it was such a unique piece. In summary, what can I say? So usually the question is, would you purchase this again? 100% yes. Thanks for checking out this video to see what was inside my Goodwill Blue Box clothing and jewelry box. I hope you enjoyed this video. Click the thumbs up on your way out and thanks for being here. I'll catch you next time.